see you, baby. Last time we put in the irrigation main that'll be connected to a pump to draw water from the cistern. And then we're gonna have uh, these discharge headers where we'll manifold two or three tubes going through each uh, area, each uh, garden area. Did he show you about the emitters every 12 inches? Yeah. Can you explain that to you? Okay. So what we want to do today as we're cutting this tube is before you cut, look look for the emitter in the drip tube line. And I personally like to cut about in the middle between. So that way it gives you some room if you need to trim it up and, and cut some more. Because you can't, you can't cut it close to the emitter because what will happen is the fitting that goes inside, it won't have room to go inside. So when you're cutting this, just see, try to, try to cut around six inches away from the emitter. So what we're going to do today is build a header to supply water to the drip tubing. First thing we're gonna do, we've already pre-cut the pipe at 12 inches. And there's a re reason we did this because we want the rows of drip tubing to be spaced out at 12 inches for this installation. Per Irrigation Association standards, they require 70% of the root ball to be wetted somehow of a plant. So instead of just putting one row of tubing, what we're going to do is put a row on this side and a row on the other side. Um, I, maybe yeah. put a longer piece on it, maybe put a 45 or something on there. Okay. Run home deep on this thing or something, maybe, hopefully. And then that'll get extended in there. <laughs> because, yes, it, it, what is this thing? The intent here was to save as much water as possible, interact with the students, try to teach them a little bit about hydraulics. And I see you spec'd out uh, drip tubing. Uh, no, that's a good way to apply the water, more efficient way, Most would you think? way to apply water to landscaping. When you bring any new product to an industry of pushing it from through the industry, from the manufacturers, through the, the distributors to the contractors, and also a mix of government and legislation and regulation. So I think it's a, it's a mix of a bunch of different things that are encouraging contractors to be more comfortable with drip tubing and uh, you, that's why you're seeing it more in the market. You're seeing more landscape architects and uh, irrigation consultants actually specifying uh, landscape drip tubing uh, and plant beds to uh, save water. Yeah, it. It, was, it wasn't actually in the hole. Right. It was not. See, you don't look at it. See it right there. Huh? It ends. Oh, this yeah. Plant, this plant. Yeah, I'm gonna put this one Today when we were installing the headers for the uh, drip system where it's the header where the water comes through the pipes and it's then fed through other pipes that actually do the drip irrigation and we were in charge of uh, building the headers for those systems. And this straight up, we just use one straight piece of tube. Yep, just one straight piece of tube. It's not too difficult to pick up on because the people that we have helping us out are actual professionals, so they know what they're doing and they can actually give us tips on things that we're actually probably gonna need in our future careers, so it's really useful. We learn all about like, water pressure and fluid dynamics and stuff like that, so being able to come out here and actually like, see systems where it's implemented is really cool. We're actually doing this ourselves. Like We're able to completely understand every aspect of it because we helped build it, so it's really helpful. <laughs> There's no water. We, we ran a hose for a while on the driveway and then we put the, actually cut the pipe at the cistern so we can access it. It was clean. Uh, we put a hose into the pipe coming off the driveway and we're finding that the water is just going somewhere. It's probably going into the ground. So we're gonna have to dig that up and see if we need to connect the uh, pipe the uh, exfiltration pipe to a feed line into the cistern. You just turn it on. So what you're hearing is a lot of the air. So you're hearing it. The ground covers, they're good, but once they get into this area, it's going to be kind of hard. We rebate up to $400 for ins the installation of drip irrigation or any low volume irrigation. We're very excited about this project. Uh, we've been, uh, this is the second time we're out here. The UC loves to uh, participate in this type of work and um, 
we'll continue to do that until the program, the project um, is at its final stages. Funding for the urban conservation is provided by Miami Day Water and Sewer Department. So we dug up the connection. <laughs> God, Spencer, get out of here. <laughs>